Hey, it's uh, Superintendent Horsley here. I'm uh, here at the uh, Grand Transportation Department for our next hallway minute, but we're not in a hallway today. We are in the mechanics warehouse shop place, and I'm here with Devin. Devin, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am Devin Bodden. I've worked for the district for 22 and a half years. I started straight out of high school, um, did a three-year apprenticeship, and worked my way up the ladder. I'm the lead mechanic in the shop. Very good. So tell us about your day. What does that look like? You got some buses here. What do you yeah. work on? So we have 180 buses. Um, everything, well, all the all the students are transported on yeah. about 150 of those. We keep 30 or so as spares. They do field trips, um, fill in. On a what day kind of here. What stuff do you fix? So we fix everything from Headlights to full engine overhauls. We do upholstery. We do body work here. Uh, paint shops back there. Yep, there's a paint booth and a paint shop. We have a metal fabrication shop as well. Okay, so you replace everything from tires and doing oil changes yep. to major auto body work. I can see a huge bumper <laughs> here on the ground that looks right. like it got rear-ended. It sure did, yes. Um, uh, you were here when the earthquake happened. I was. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> so we had a bus full of shops, or a shop full of buses here, and um, the earthquake happened and luckily none of them fell off the lift. Um, a little bit of rocking though. A little bit of rocking. Our power went out, raised the concrete a little bit. It was it was kind of interesting, but it was comforting to know that uh, the buses wouldn't come off the hoist. Because <laughs> yeah. in the beginning, I was always apprehensive to walk underneath them. Yeah, no kidding. So I've got here on the ground this giant bumper. What happened here? So this happened, uh, let's see, two days ago. Uh, our driver got rear-ended at a stoplight, um, and lo and behold, yeah, luckily, bus, how often does this happen? I mean, when you have 150 buses on the road, uh, what 180 days a year yeah. plus the summer, yeah, it's not an everyday occurrence. But I mean, there's a fair amount of Pretty accidents. Regularly. That's the nature of being Under on the benders. road. Yeah, thousands yeah. of miles each year. I worked for the district for a long time, and it was always startling to me that these big, bright What's the color? School bus yellow. An actual color, school bus yes, yellow. Yes, a legal color. People do not uh, see the bus. Yeah, but so. the bus performed as it was supposed to. Uh, the buses are designed to... Um, you got this bent a little bit. Yeah, so that's your main bumper brackets, but uh, the bus is designed to channel the, on, the car under the passenger area, and that's exactly what it did. And kids probably inside the bus were probably like, yeah, that I'm, was about it. I think she was on her way to pick up her junior high. But. So it was empty at the time. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, let's keep walking. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, some people in here. Uh, we came to celebrate something today. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. So every year we have our, we have an annual inspection by the Highway Patrol. So each one of our guys here are emissions inspectors and safety inspectors. And so we do a safety inspection each year, but the Highway Patrol takes a sample of our fleet, 20% of it, um, and they inspect it. And of that 20%, they're looking for certain defects listed in their criteria. And if they place 13% of your 20% out of service, it triggers a full inspection and they inspect all 180 buses. So very time when, consuming. Right. But you're talking 13% of 20%. That's four buses. Yeah. So if we have four buses that have a defect that's out of service and when so you say very stringent requirements, yes, but when you say out of service, something like your loading lights not working. Yes, that's an out of service. flashing and the alarm yeah, not so, going on. Yeah, we're not talking like brakes or huge mechanical failures. It's something out of service little could safety be as small yes. as something. Mm -hmm. Those things included, but something very small right. could trigger. But everything on a bus is a, is a yeah. safety item. Yep. That's what they're designed to do. So how did uh, our transportation department do? We did very well. We had just a couple of defects and one for lights, actually. That's why I use that example. So. But we passed our inspection. Oh, we flying passed colors. with flying colors. Yeah, UHP gave high fives yep. all around. They were they were pleased, and what it was, uh, they had a new sergeant this year, so it was his first time doing it. So he was he was impressed and happy, and maybe uh, maybe he'll stick around a while. Oh, hopefully, right? Yeah. So Devin, thanks for repping for us. Uh, random question, I don't know, just off the top of my head, uh, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, ooh. I'm kind of a kid. I like cheese. Can't uh, go wrong with cheese. Little cheese. Should we go get some pizza? Sure. You bet. All right. We're celebrating these guys, and uh, you can see the rest of the mechanics getting their lunch for their awesome inspection. Thanks, Devin, for yeah. being part of our Hardway Minute. And everybody else, have a great rest of your day and week.